The entire world has been thrown into a frenzy after witnessing the most intense boxing match in history. The Gypsy King's narrow victory over Francis has left everyone in the arena bewildered. This fight has quickly become the year's biggest controversy, as many are labeling it a robbery. Yo guys, what's up? Waking up today and just remember that I'm the guy that just defeated the Ninja heavyweight boxing of the world and that I'm the damn man. Even though I get robbed by those judges. Yes, I really believe that I won that fight. I could have I should have done better, but still I won that fight. So keep it up. I keep my eyes on him and uh Hopefully we get a rematch. This time things are gonna be things gonna be definitely different. Jeez. Despite most believing Francis was the true winner, those familiar with the Fury name know they don't always play fair, and Francis ended up on the wrong end of that. Inside the ring, the fans are refusing to let this decision slide. They're clamoring for a rematch, eager to witness this epic showdown once more. Fortunately, both fighters are equally determined to settle the score. Tyson Fury, in particular, is dissatisfied with his performance, echoing the sentiments of the global audience, who have dubbed this bout a robbery. If the Gypsy King aims to assert his dominance over Francis in the rematch, it's imperative that he plays strategically. It appears he's already taken steps in that direction, as Tyson Fury has announced his willingness to engage in a rematch with one uncompromising condition. When the announcement of this fight first surfaced, boxing fanatics around the world were ecstatic. It was the colossal crossover of a MMA titan taking on the finest heavyweight in the boxing realm. Who wouldn't be eager to witness such an event? However, the intriguing part lies in the fact that while this match seemed promising on paper, most of us had realistic expectations. We anticipated Tyson Fury securing an easy KO victory. Now don't misunderstand. Francis is undoubtedly a remarkable fighter, but this is the realm of boxing we're discussing. This is Fury's domain, and few believed that Francis could emerge victorious against him. Nevertheless, moments like these are where superstars are born, and on fight night, Francis showcased his medal. The Predator achieved the unthinkable, delivering the most significant upset in the annals of boxing history. Surprisingly, it wasn't the fight itself that stirred up the drama. It was the outcome. Francis thoroughly outperformed Tyson, yet the judges still awarded the split decision victory to the Gypsy King. Now, I understand that this may sound shocking, but when you consider the bigger picture, it's not all that surprising in my opinion. Why, you may ask, would the boxing judges grant the win to an MMA fighter over Tyson Fury, who's one of boxing's most significant assets? His loss doesn't just impact him personally, it affects the sport as a whole. So, it's not astonishing that the judges leaned in favor of Fury to safeguard the reputation and legacy of the Fury name. However, it's undeniable that after that fight, the Fury legacy has taken quite a hit. We all witnessed what Francis accomplished. He managed to knock down a seasoned MMA fighter with no prior boxing experience. That alone speaks volumes about Fury's abilities. While he might have emerged victorious on paper, Francis has become the people's champion, and even Tyson acknowledges it. He's eager for a rematch, and this time, if he hopes to prevail, he needs to make strategic decisions both inside and outside the ring. That's why the Gypsy King has consented to a rematch, but with one condition. Tyson is eager for the rematch, but there's a new twist in his strategy. He's proposing to compete at a lower weight. This development suddenly adds an intriguing dimension to the rematch. It's crystal clear what Tyson aims to achieve with this decision. He wants to deplete Francis of his power, and it's worth noting that power is Francis's most formidable asset. I mean, he made knocking out opponents look like child's play. Such a tactic is a rarity, and Tyson's move to have Francis trimmed down is quite telling. The Predator is already quite lean, and it begs the question of how much more weight he can shed. In contrast, Tyson isn't currently in the best shape of his life, and shedding those extra pounds should be a relatively straightforward task for him. It would be a refreshing change to see Tyson step into the ring with a more sculpted physique. 
Not only that, but a physically improved Tyson Fury will likely possess the stamina needed to contend with Francis. As we saw in their previous bout, Francis had the upper hand, and this adjustment may be the key to leveling the playing field. If we consider Francis's best qualities, Tyson Fury could potentially have a relatively straightforward night in the rematch. However, one thing I can assure you is that in the rematch, no one will underestimate Francis. In fact, the majority of people may now view the MMA star as the favorite going into the bout. It's not surprising that many are leaning in Francis's favor, particularly after his masterful performance in the previous match against the Cameroonian boxer. Francis has proven to be a formidable force, and Fury learned that the hard way when he felt the impact of Francis's left hook. That punch rearranged his thought process, prompting him to adopt a more strategic approach ahead of the rematch. We're just one condition away from witnessing this rematch, but the looming question is whether Francis will accept Fury's terms or not. You don't need to wait any longer for the answer world, because when asked about a rematch and whether he'd accept Fury's lone condition, the Predator had a straightforward response run it back. The Cameroonian boxer spoke those words with conviction, making it clear that he's determined to ensure Tyson doesn't make it to the final bell in their next bout. Francis's frustration is palpable, and it's entirely understandable. This was his professional boxing debut, a historic moment in his career, and it ended with a sense of injustice. The world over is echoing the sentiment that Francis should have won, leaving us to wonder what the judges were truly watching that night. A similar situation unfolded when Tyson's younger brother, Tommy, faced the renowned British YouTuber, KSI. In the eyes of the public, KSI achieved the seemingly impossible by defeating Tommy Fury. But when the Fury name is involved, it seems the judges are inclined to favor them, even if it appears to be a one-sided affair. It's another case of an apparent robbery, raising questions about the reputation of the Fury name. Once hailed as the best fighters on the planet, they now face accusations of being cheaters. If that isn't embarrassing, I don't know what is. Just take a look at what some of the professional fighters had to say about Tyson's victory over Francis. The Mexican machine, Canelo Alvarez, summed it up in just two words, biggest robbery. Even fellow boxers are now rallying behind the MMA fighter. If I were Tyson Fury, I'd consider keeping a low profile at this point. Not only is he an average boxer, but he's also facing accusations of being a cheater. MMA superstar Dylan Dennis had some intriguing comments about this fight. The jiu-jitsu expert remarked, Tyson Fury sucks. I'd have Francis out of there in round one. While it's an interesting notion, a matchup between Dylan Dennis and Francis is highly unlikely as it's not a fight that many people are clamoring to see, especially after witnessing Logan Paul's victory over Dannis in the boxing ring. Speaking of the Paul brothers, both Jake and Logan have expressed their belief that Francis won the fight. The number of boxing purists who share this view is astounding. Tyson Fury must agree to this rematch to salvage his legacy. If he truly wants to establish himself as the king, he needs to step into the ring and secure a knockout victory over Francis within three rounds, as he should have done in their initial encounter. This time around, the dynamics have shifted. Everyone will be expecting Francis to replicate his performance from the first match and claim the victory he rightfully deserves. However, when you have such widespread support, the pressure mounts, and this is precisely when the Gypsy King is poised to make his move. It's important to remember that in the first bout, there was no pressure on Francis. Most believed he would lose. But now, the situation is different with expectations and Fury's condition to fight at a lower weight, signaling his intention to weaken his opponent. In boxing, we know that rematches are often full of uncertainties and complexities. One thing is certain, Fury won't underestimate Francis anymore. After the embarrassment he endured in front of millions, he'll undoubtedly approach the rematch with newfound seriousness. With Fury's demanding condition, he might gain the advantage he lacked in the first fight and put on a dominant performance to regain his status as the world's heavyweight champion. I suppose we'll have to wait and watch how this unfolds. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And, 
Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.